Bluffing, I keep you wondering, keep you hunting for my loving. But I crave us hugging. Yeah, I say stubborn. Cause I can't admit that you've got all the strings and know just how to tug them. So today I'm going to be doing a celebrity makeup tutorial. This look is inspired by Kendall Jenner's cover of the Sunday Times Style Magazine. She had this cat eye effect with her eyeshadow without using eyeliner and just it smoked out on the bottom lash line and I was really inspired by it. I love the look so I hope that y'all enjoy this video. If you want to know how I got this Kendall Jenner inspired makeup look then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. In the picture, Kendall's eyebrows were really dark and the tail of her eyebrow was extended pretty far, so right here I'm just going to mimic that. So much Enjoy the fear, I don't care Cause I've never been so high Follow me through the dark Let me take you past our sad light mm. You can see the world you've brought to light Now I'm going to prime my face and get it ready for foundation And I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer for foundation, I'm just using the usual Revlon Color Stay, and y'all have seen me a million times put that on. So, next, now I'm going to prime my eyelids, getting ready for eyeshadow with the Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC in Soft Ochre. And right here, I'm just extending that tail. I had to go back over it because it kept fading. I don't know why. Here, I'm putting on tape on the outer edge of my eye just to create that cat eye effect that she does have with her eyeshadow. On fire. Now I'm going to take this creme brulee eyeshadow from Makeup Geek with my E40 brush and just put that in my crease and make sure to blend it out. And it's okay if you go over the tape because when you pull it off, it'll make a clean line. What are you waiting for? Now I'm taking an E70 brush and a eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Coco Bear. This is just a reddish brown eyeshadow. It's really gorgeous and to me it looked like Kendall had this color. So I'm just packing that on the lid, making sure not to get it into the crease. Cause I'm not thinking straight. My head's spinning. I'm looking off to the side a lot because I am looking at the picture of Kendall, but right here I'm just packing that color on to get it as dark as I can. taking another Makeup Geek shadow and this one is in the shade Latte. This step is really unnecessary. I don't know why I did it. I just put it on top of that Cocoa Bear shade that we just did. Taking another Makeup Geek shadow, this one is called Cosmopolitan. It's just a really pretty shimmery like orange brown shade and I'm popping this on the center of my eyelid. I'm not putting it on my whole eyelid, just keeping it in the center. He can't keep his wide eyes on the road. Now I'm taking an eyeliner brush and I'm going back in with the shade Creme Brulee and I'm using this to just really sculpt out how Kendall had her cat eye effect with her eyeshadow. So I'm taking it right up the tape and I'm bringing it back down towards my lid and this is just going to sculpt it out and give me something to work with pretty much. It's been a while since I have even heard from you. So now that I have the lines where I want them, I'm taking that same eyeliner brush and I'm using a dark brown color from the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. This is just the darkest color in the palette. So I'm just going to trace those lines that I already had. Can you write? And I got that red lip classic thing that you like. And when we go crashing down, we come back every time because we never 
never go out of style. We never go out of style. You got that long hair, slick back, white T-shirt, and I got that good girl face. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend out those harsh lines. Taking a pencil brush, I'm just going to be using the same NYX dark brown color and just packing that in my crease line. I'm doing this to create dimension like Kendall had in her picture. Mm, yeah. He takes me home. The lights are off, he's taking off his coat. Mm, and I heard... Now I'm going in with Coco Bear and I'm using this on that blank space on the outer corner and just filling in the little triangle that we have. Going back in with that same dark brown shadow from the NYX palette, I'm just going to focus that on my outer corner to darken it up a little bit. I wanted that outer corner even more dark, so I went in with the Nude Tude palette by The Balm, and using the darkest brown color called Sleek, I'm going to put that on my outer corner with a pencil blur with a pencil brush and just blend it out with a blending brush. Now I'm just making sure that everything is blended in the way that I want it. Now for the most fun part, I'm going to take off the tape and see the cat eye effect. I had some fallout from the eyeshadow, so I'm just taking a makeup remover and wiping that off. And to get that line not so harsh, I'm taking my fingertip and just blending it all together. Now I'm going to take the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Farah with a pencil brush and just run this underneath my lash line to smoke it out. You're the night, you're the color of my blood. You're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing I want to touch. Now I'm going to do my usual concealer routine, just taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and doing it in a V motion. And blending that out with my Beauty Blender. You can see the world you've brought to life, to life. Now going back in with that color Farah, I'm just redoing the lower lash line because I should have done my concealer first. What are you waiting for? Fading in, fading out, on the edge of paradise, every inch of your skin is a holy grail I've got to find. Only you can set my heart. Taking an eyeliner brush with that same fair color, I'm just going to use this for a more precise application because I want this color to be really close to my tear duct. Cause I'm not thinking straight. I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend that out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using my Naked Smoky palette and I'm using the shade 13. Cause I'm not thinking straight. My head's spinning around. I can't see clear
For eyeliner, I'm taking my CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus eyeliner and putting this in my waterline. And I'm making this pretty messy because in Kendall's picture, it almost looks like she has like clumpiness in her eyes. Like, I hate to say this, but eye boogers, it honestly looks like she has that. So that's why I'm being very messy with it. But it's all a part of the look, I promise. After curling my lashes, I'm going to apply the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara and I'm going to put at least two coats of this on. I'm using that same mascara for my bottom lashes. I'm going back in with that Makeup Geek color in Cosmopolitan and I'm just going to put that over the lid again because I lost some of the color through all of the eyeliner and all that. So I'm just touching up a little bit. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm taking Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. Since Kendall's face was pretty flawless in this picture, I'm just taking some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a concealer brush and just trying to get rid of those blemishes that I have and get my face as flawless as I can. And I'm also going to clean up the sides of that eyeshadow with that same concealer and a beauty blender. Kendall's face looked very highlighted in this picture, so I'm just going to put the NYX HD concealer in the places where she was highlighted. So that was underneath her eyes, on her forehead and chin, and I'm taking a little blending brush just to start out the blending process, and then I'm going to go over it with my beauty blender. The lights are off, he's taking off his coat. That you've been out and about with some other girl, some other girl. Mm. He says what you've heard is true, but I can't stop thinking about you and I. I said I've been there too a few times. I'm going to set that highlight with the NYX HD finishing powder in the shade Banana. Classic thing that you like, and when we go crashing down, we come back. For a very dramatic and dark contour, I'm taking the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb and a angled contour brush and I'm just carving out my cheekbones a little bit. I'm taking this banana shade from the NYX contour palette with a tapered brush. I'm just going to put this color right underneath that contour to really sculpt it out. This technique is called baking because we are going to leave that powder there for a little bit until we're done with our makeup and then come back with a powder brush and just wipe off the excess. You come and pick me up, no headlights. Now taking that same brush and the same bronzer, I'm just going to bronze up my temples a little bit. Her temples were pretty bronzed, so. You're the night, you're the color of my blood. You're the cure, you're the pain. You're the only thing I want to touch. I never knew that it could mean so much, so much. 
Using a NYX contour powder, I am going to contour my nose because Kendall's nose was contoured in this picture. So, yeah, I'm just bringing it down the bridge of my nose and right at the tip, and I'm going to blend it out. So love me like you do, la la, love me like you do, love me like you do, la la, love me like you do, touch me like you do, ta ta, touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? Fading in, fading out, on the edge of paradise. And go in with a powder brush and wipe off the excess powder that is underneath my contour. Taking another contour shade from that NYX contour palette, I am using the same angle contour brush and just putting that underneath my jawline. Kendall really looks like she has a nice shadow underneath her jaw, so I'm putting a pretty dark color under there. But I'm going to go in with a powder brush right here and blend that all out. For blush, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics blush palette, and I'm taking the two brown shades and mixing those together and putting those on the apples of my cheeks. For lipstick, she had a very nude lipstick on and then also a nude gloss on. So I started off with MAC Hue and then I went over it with a lip gloss that I'm not sure the name of. I'll try to find it and link it down below. The first gloss was not glossy enough so I went in with the NYX Fortune Cookie Gloss. So that completes this Kendall Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.